In this tutorial, we will take a look at how to generally work with PlanMacaromexi software. So uh, we'll take a look at some uh, general buttons and, and modules that, that we have there uh, besides the emitting modules. So the emitting modules are basically covered in uh, separate tutorials. Uh, but let's uh, take a general look uh, at Romexis in this tutorial. So firstly, I have Romexis installed here on my computer and I can start it by double-clicking on the icon. So now uh, Romexis gets opened. And uh, so if we are opening Romexis directly like this and we're not uh, first selecting a patient in a practice uh, or patient management software, this is uh, how Romexis gets opened uh, in this kind of view. And firstly, uh, always here in the upper bar, we can see uh, the current version number of Romexis and which user is currently logged in uh, to Romexis. Uh, furthermore, we can find some information also here in the file menu. So if we open this, we could, for example, open uh, this About uh, section here and we could see, still see further information about, uh, about the version numbers and so on. And we can also, in File menu, we can also find information about the license that we are currently using uh, in Romexis. So if we open this license management here, uh, we can see a list of all the functions uh, that are included in our license and we can also see how many users are uh, currently using the different functions. And then uh, through this uh, user information here, uh, we could see uh, which, which clients are using uh, the separate functions and, and we could drop those clients uh, from, from using uh, different features so that they would be released uh, for other uh, users. And then uh, I have here the standalone installation where server and client are installed on the same uh, computer so I could release this license uh, from this computer so that it could be used uh, on some other computer. Furthermore here uh, we have still a couple of other options. So for example uh, we could import uh, DICOM or DICOM DIR uh, data with patients and images uh, to Romexis. We could import CATCAM cases. So basically in the emitting modules uh, we have also the importing and exporting options but here uh, we have also some, uh, some options. And then we could also export several patients with uh, images in DICOM DIR format from Romexis using this function here. In, in the other corner instead uh, we have some help buttons. So uh, if we have an internet connection on this computer we could click here on this film icon and that would open us a tutorial video page on our PlanMega website. So you could find videos about the different uh, modules of Romexis. And if we have PDF reader on a computer, uh, we can click on this question mark icon here and that would open us uh, the Romexis user's manual. So we could, for example, use the search function uh, to find out information about different features. Let's then uh, take a quick look at uh, what we see here uh, when we have opened Promexis directly like this uh, and not through uh, practice management software. So here we have integrated patient management. Uh, then we have this DICOM worklist and DICOM query if we would be uh, using those. And then we can also search for images directly. So if we remember some comment or diagnosis that was attached uh, to an image uh, we can search uh, for that image uh, for, uh, in, in a specific uh, time range and uh, we don't need to remember whose uh, image that was. And uh, this cloud management is uh, for PlanMacaromexis cloud image transfer uh, service users. So here we could see our sent and received cases and we could uh, send new cloud cases uh, from here. And then uh, here, if I bring my mouse uh, to the left of the screen, I can get my module bar visible. So this displays all the modules uh, that we have in Romexis and it works as a navigation between the modules. So I got this visible by bringing my mouse to the left and if I prefer uh, to keep this module bar continuously visible, I can right click on top of the module bar and I can select uh, turn hiding off. So. 
This selection of modules depends on what kind of license uh, we are using in Romexis. So we don't necessarily have all of these visible. So if we only, for example, have 2D uh, imaging uh, module, then, then we would only have that and uh, not the other modules here uh, in the bar. And uh, why we see these imaging modules inactive, that's because uh, we don't have any patient opened. So we need to have some patient opened in order to proceed uh, to the imaging modules so that we can capture, for example, new images uh, for that patient or we can work on the existing images. So currently we only have uh, some of these general uh, modules uh, active here. So currently we are here in the uh, patient management, so this is where uh, Romexis gets opened when we open it directly. And uh, then we have this clinic management module uh, where we can, uh, this is also an extra license feature, so we can basically have an overview of how uh, the clinic is working, how the different uh, devices are working, what kind of problems uh, there, there potentially are. and. Uh, uh, what type of images we have captured and how the instruments have been used and, and so on. So we won't be covering that uh, in, in detail here. And in report module we can draw different kind of reports of uh, processes in Romexis. So for example, um, which, uh, or what type of images different uh, users of Romexis have captured and uh, we can list all the images uh, of of all the patients uh, here in Romexis. So we will take uh, a little bit later uh, a look at this uh, here in this tutorial. Then uh, through the login, uh, naturally the different users can log in to Romexis so we can define uh, different user rights uh, for users so that they can log in with their personal uh, credentials and they can use Romexis. Uh, like uh, defined uh, for them uh, with all the users' rights and they, then they can also uh, get their personal preferences uh, by, by logging in. And uh, in admin module we can manage for example those users' groups and we can make uh, different kind of settings. We will also take uh, a little bit later a look at this admin module. So let's still take a look at how we can close from Exis after working uh, with that. So basically we have two, op two options uh, for that. Uh, we could open the file menu and we could select uh, exit or then simply uh, we could uh, click here uh, on, the, on the cross uh, in the corner. So uh, both work equally well. So I think that was, that was an overview of, uh, of Plan Mechoromexis. So uh, that might uh, serve most of the users uh, this amount of information and uh, now we can move on uh, to taking a look at how to manage patients uh, because I think uh, many users are uh, managing the patients in the practice management software. So this might not be useful information for everyone. So let's cover that uh, in a while and then uh, we will also take a look at uh, this report and, and a quick look at admin module as well. So let's start uh, with this uh, patient management. Uh, so like we see here uh, we have a list of, of my demo patients that I have created here. I can browse the patients uh, by using my mouse wheel and I can also sort the patients according to date, ID number, name. So here we see the ID number uh, of each patient and here naturally the name. So I could sort for example according to, uh, to the ID. And uh, I can search uh, for patients uh, simply by starting to type uh, a part of uh, the patient's ID or name. So for example if I typed uh, MO I can find all the patients uh, that have that as part of their name. And uh, I can open any patient in the list uh, simply by clicking uh, on that patient. So now we actually got here uh, in a different module called file uh, that contains uh, the information about this uh, specific patient and now we see also that our imaging modules uh, got active. So now we could uh, go with this patient's information uh, to any of these imaging modules or, or we could use also this uh, next uh, step shortcuts in order to do that. And here in this view we could also edit the patient's information. Uh, we could add more uh, personal information here. So if we would just click on edit 
or, or we could modify the existing information or then we could add uh, address information here and here uh, we could also import uh, an identification photo for the patient so let's try try that I will select here import photo and let's let's select some uh, photograph for example here and now if we just click on OK here well we could uh, adjust the image a little bit if we wanted and let's click on OK and now the image uh, got imported and furthermore I could uh, add here um, a comment so this is just a free uh, comment that we can add for the patient so now if we click on save save these changes let's uh, close the patient let's go back here and now uh, well if we wouldn't see the changes we might uh, try this refresh button here but now we see that we uh, we got the identification uh, photo for the patient and here uh, is the comment that we added Let's then uh, take a look at how uh, we can work with uh, several patients opened. So we can always go here uh, to the patient uh, management and we can open uh, the patients. So uh, we can go back here and let's uh, open another, another patient and uh, go back here uh, to patients uh, module. So now here uh, in the upper right corner uh, we can see a list uh, of all the opened patients so uh, we can open this drop down here and, and see which all uh, patients are currently opened and we can toggle between them by, by clicking on the name uh, here so we need to make sure always uh, when we are capturing new images for example that we are we are capturing them for the for the right uh, uh, patient and then we can also close the patients so now that I have this patient selected I can close it uh, and now I got the other one I can close that too so now we don't have any any patients opened anymore and uh, let's then add a new patient so I can use this uh, add patient uh, button obviously here and now uh, we have uh, three uh, fields here in the general uh, section that we need to fill in so I need to uh, type a unique ID for this patient and then I'll need to uh, write write the first name and last name uh, for the patient. The other fields are optional. Now we could save our patient and now like we see we could uh, go to the imaging modules uh, with the new patient. Let's uh, close this patient and now let's look for look for them so we have this new patient added here and uh, well I don't need this patient now so I could inactivate uh, him so uh, if we right click on top of a uh, selected patient here uh, we can find uh, inactivate uh, function so if we would click here now uh, we could remove uh, this patient from the list so let's search again now we don't uh, see him anymore so inactivation removes the patient uh, from the patient list uh, but we don't uh, lose him completely so we can always retrieve uh, the patient back uh, from the Romexis configuration application so it's not uh, he's not completely deleted but just removed here uh, from the list and one more thing here uh, like we see all of these tiles actually uh, can be maximized uh, by using this uh, double arrow so we might have some well, we have more space uh, for this function if we maximize and then for example for patient management uh, we also have this uh, new uh, option of assigning uh, patients for different uh, users of Romexis. So otherwise uh, we have uh, many of the same uh, functions that we have all, that we had all, already in the minimized view. And now um, let's uh, still take a quick look at uh, at report so like said uh, here in report uh, module uh, we can draw different kind of reports of how uh, Romexis has been used uh, so if we open this drop down here uh, we can see what type of uh, reports uh, we can generate so for example we could list uh, 
list all the images of, of different uh, users or from Exis, so who has captured uh, which images. Or then we could, for example, uh, select uh, this X-ray logbook, so we could see all the images of different patients. Now if we click on generate, uh, we can define uh, the time range. So let's let's select about the maximum here and let's click on OK. So now uh, it generated us uh, a list of all the images and patients or like uh, all the images of of different patients that we have in Romexis and then uh, we can see also further information for example what has been the image source and uh, who has captured uh, the image and then uh, we could see some further information when when applicable and here uh, we can also have a quick overview of um, of the images so for example if I would uh, Let's see if I would uh, select here, uh, for example, cephalometric image, and if I keep my control down, I could select um, I could select a photograph as well, and then uh, I could use this open links uh, button here in the corner. Okay, I'll, I'm opening the image links, so uh, I could have a quick overview uh, of of these images here. I could even organize them in a layout if I click here on the set layout button. So now I'm here in different tab uh, image view uh, where I can have a quick overview of the images. Or, or then I could directly open uh, the patients uh, also. So also these patients here are links. And if we would like to uh, print or export uh, this report, I have here the buttons uh, for that. So I could uh, print print this list. So now we see that we got like eight pages of, uh, of records. Or then alternatively I could export uh, this report. And uh, let's still um, take a quick uh, overview of uh, admin module. So here we have several tabs. Uh, here in the resource tab uh, we could manage um, uh, the different user groups and uh, single users. So if we have uh, the administrator rights and so we could uh, define new user groups and, and we could update for example the user rights of, uh, of these existing groups or then we could uh, manage the users as well. And uh, here in patient merge we can merge duplicates so if we have uh, if we have duplicates in our patient list uh, we could select here the attribute um, with which we would be uh, searching for the patient and here we see now all the patient that patients that have uh, the same uh, surname so we could uh, select here uh, the patients uh, who would be merged and uh, to which uh, patient uh, file. Well device alerts uh, they, they are uh, related to clinic management so automatic alerts uh, of uh, problems with the devices then here in imaging, uh, we will actually cover this in another tutorial, how to build uh, these study templates. So here we can build custom study templates uh, uh, to be used in 2D module. So this will be covered in another tutorial. And in DICOM uh, tab, we could make uh, the DICOM configurations. And then uh, we have finally this local settings. So here uh, we can manage uh, different uh, kind of connections and uh, how, how the different functions are, are visible or we can customize the user uh, in the face of, of Romexis. So basically uh, about all of this we can find especially more information in the technical uh, manual of Romexis. So that was a quick overview of uh, uh, about uh, the general uh, modules in Romexis and the general functions.